I'm Nick Flores, I'm the course designer of the cross country course and Hilton and I are going to take you around the course and just show you some of the features. Sweet, let's go. Neat. Alright, here we're coming up to the base of Red Face Hill. Unlike previous years, we're going to turn left at the base. So we're not going to go up, try and avoid the bottleneck. Um, Alright. Oh, we don't need to go too fast. Yeah, of course. Which way are we going? Fast loop. This is the start loop, eh? Yeah, it's up and around. Uh, yeah. So, fairly similar to previous years. Nice open road for the guys to sort of jostle for position. And we're heading towards Nogi's Knoll. Our first little climb of the day. This is up Nogi's Knoll. Make sure you're on the right gear. No right gear. Yep. Have a little sharp time coming up straight up ahead. This is Cabbage Tree Single Track. For those of you that don't know what a cabbage tree looks like, this is it here on the right hand side. Alright, so if, you, if you've been caught behind some guys in the first bit of the start, this is the opportunity to overtake. It's a nice wide open road and I'm sure the guys are going to be putting down the hammer here. How are you feeling, Hilt? Oh, pretty good. I'm <laughs> thirsty. 
I think we need some fun descending. All right. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take the beeline down, uh, pick up sticks. Hilton will come in behind me and take the A-line. Oh, there's the A-line that goes down to the left. This is the B-line. And there's Hilton coming out the bottom. Nice going Hilt. Alright, it's just a couple of seconds in it. Nothing too serious. Hilton going for one or two style points there. Shot left hander. Mechanical. Right down, we've just gone through Buck Jump Alley and this is going to be a nice sharp little climb. Uh, you got a couple of options there. Alright, this is graffiti single track. Now it's fast and flowing. Uh, there's not going to be too much overtaking on this section of trail.
Uh, Kerstin Gras doing some cleaning. We're coming to the end of graffiti. You can see the guys are doing some last minute prep for a couple of days' time. <coughs> Alright, have you got caught behind anyone on that graffiti single track? Now's the time to overtake. That's if you've got anything left in your legs. Set yourself up nasty for this one. <coughs> Hang found the hilt. Check my seat. Uh, we're now going to switch back single track. The guys that have raced here in previous World Cups and Champs will remember this section. You certainly want to get gonna get a want to get ahead of your opponents coming into this this piece of single track. What do you reckon, Hilt? No. You can overtake, but I don't think it's... That's the first switch back. Second one, two more to go. Alright, and that's exiting switchback single track. So, previous years we've gone from here 
up to the amphitheater and Sharkers playground. That's no longer what we're going to do this year is we're going to cut across to the dual track and we're going to race down the dual track. Back into onto the course. This is the start of the dual track. Uh, I believe these trails are much of muchness, but they'll be taped off as individual trails. All right. That is pretty cool. Oh! <laughs> All right, well done. <laughs> nice going. Alright, I'm going to take B-line hills. Okay. Alright, there's three lines coming up to Red Lip Herald. I'm on the B-line. Alright, try and get across the logs. Alright, there we go. Not the best line in there, you can see Hilt's got some, some serious time on me there. Nice going, Hilton. Here we go, left here. Yep. Are oh, we coming up to the first speed zone? Alright, this is the first speed zone. Good chance to get something to drink. You're sure gonna need it. It's not an easy course. There's more climbing than last, last year. Also, the climbs are very different. They're short and sharp. So they definitely put the thing in the tail. I don't need to tell me. <laughs> Alright, there's two trails here. They're gonna, both going to be taped open so you can overtake. You see Hilton took the first one. It's a good thing to come test out and practice. Bring your teammates, ride both of them, see which one's quicker, if any. Alright, so coming out of the feed zone, we've had one set of dual tracks that you can overtake on. It then gets squashed down to a single track. 
and then we pop out on this road. So this road's gonna take us up to Snake Trail, where we start another fun section, meandering down a nice little valley amongst the guns. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely something that the, the guys are going to have to look at in their practice days. Where to drink, where to overtake. That's definitely going to play a part in this year's World Cup. How's it? So that was a snake trail. That then leads into the super tube, which is coming up now. All right, this is the super tube. Nice fun little section. We're then gonna come into Shocker's Pup, which is a new little section. This is the B line. Hilton took the A line there. Good opportunity to overtake. Nice going, Hilt. Uh, this is a section that I was using the Masters. It's a crossover bridge. Obviously, just be cautious here. Got quite a big drop off the other side. Nice going, Hills. Yeah, down the corkscrew. Trains come off again. Just bear in mind if you're going to be running single ring, put a clutch derail on. Definitely worth your while. Alright, so after the corkscrew, that's another opportunity for you guys to, to overtake. I think what's nice about this course is that if you're chasing, the front guys are never really out of sight. Yep. I think that's a good point by Hilton there. It's also a very spectator friendly course. I think for the guys arriving though, they should certainly grab hold of a map sort of plan their day, where they want to be, for which laps. In fact, they should actually have a spectator practice day. <laughs> oh, we now got underneath the crossover bridge.
Uh, if this is a bit of a sting on the tail, the guys that are pushing the limits are certainly going to feel this. Uh, this is a new bit trail leading up to the rock garden. There are a couple of places where you can overtake on this. You just need to have planned them. Let's just stop here at the top. Yeah. All right, this is the top of the rock garden. You have two main lines down here. Obviously the right line and the left line, which goes on the left of those poles. You also have a sea line, which continues along this road for those guys that are really not happy to go down here. If you do take the sea line, I think it's about between eight and 10 seconds that you'll lose out on. But if you're not confident through the rocks, I'd highly recommend that route. What Hills and I are gonna do now is I'm gonna take the right-hand line and Hills gonna take the, the left-hand line and we'll just so we'll plod down there, we won't go too fast. We'll still have got a pace where you can see which lines we're taking. All right. So this is the right hand line, set up nice and wide, then cut across to the inside. All right. Uh, that's where the sea line comes in. Uh, so that's Treehouse Rock on done, both lines. Well done, Hill, so that was a good line there. Yeah, uh, the remainder of the track is from the downhill. We're heading towards over the top, which is a section we used for the first time last year. Nothing too serious. One or two log drops. Nice meandering single track. Watch out for this corner, it's always pretty tough. All right, you take, I'll take the pallet, you take the other line. All right, you're gonna enter into this pretty quickly. All right, if you're not gonna take the big drop, Need to get onto the pallet. Right. And up. Alright, the 80% zone is going to be over here. Somewhere where you don't want to be. Alright. Cut across. And we're going to enter into the first feed zone. And into the second feed zone. It looks like I need the feed zone right now. Tony's jumped off again.
speed zone will be along the, the right hand side. And if you're feeling strong, you can definitely gear up one or two gears and get a bit of a sprint finish. A sprint finish. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! First fat guy across the line.